Shout out to the sponsor of the Health Blades. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Goodfellow One Boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblades.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Well, some breaking news is coming down the news line. And Luke Walton has been let go from the Los Angeles Lakers. Um... 35 wins the year before without LeBron, 37 wins with LeBron. And the front runner is Tyron Lue. Fast your seatbelts, NBA and Los Angeles Lakers fans. The LeBron takeover is about to begin. We back. Goodfella Sports TV, your boy CJ Goodfella. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, so you won't miss another video. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Blessings to the brothers and sisters for holding us down, man. We're going to continue to do what we do. Don't forget to check out our NBA playlist, NBA 101, our live NBA show. 12 episodes now, I believe it is. Check the playlist out, NBA Talk. Everything else, a uh, regular video we do about the NBA. So um, Luke Walton has been uh, let go. So this makes you wonder why, first off for me, it's not who replaced him, but why Luke Walton was uh, fired. Because, I mean, why Magic Johnson left? You know what I'm saying? Why did Magic leave then? If they was going to fire Luke anyway. So it's deeper than that. It reported that Magic told Luke to shut the fuck up in one of the meetings in Octo October 30th. So why did Magic leave then if they was going to fire Luke anyway? That's the bigger question. So is Rob Palenka in power, in, in, in power now? And he fired Luke Walton anyway and just had the boss to do what Magic Johnson didn't do? That's a, that's a great question. My whole thing about it is why did Magic leave? That's, that's what I want to know. That's why I want to know. Why did Magic Johnson leave? After two seasons, Luke Walton is out. You got Bickerstaff, I think, in Memphis, out. The coach of Sacramento, he fucking sucked. We're going to talk about Sacramento in a minute. So if any Kings fans checking in, we're going to talk about him in a minute. He sucked, okay? But Bickerstaff, I mean, not just he sucked, but some of the guys that's been let go and been released from their job, I mean, really, I mean, when did historically have people won in Memphis? Remember when they, they was in Vancouver and nobody wanted to go to Vancouver and play there? But I'm going to link the article, link in ESPN. But, I mean, who do you get to coach the Lakers that's going to do better or got better pedigree than Luke Walton? Tyron Lue, most people feel like he won off the strength of LeBron and Kyrie and Kevin Love. You know, or, well, yeah, Kevin Love. They feel like he's, he didn't really do no coaching. LeBron was the coach. So, basically, it's turn it over to LeBron, let LeBron – Tear it down and build it back up. They already tore it down with Magic Johnson leaving, Luke Wall leaving. So Jeannie Buss is leaving it in the powers of LeBron. And that may not be a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? LeBron has built uh, two championship, three championship winning teams, down two down in Miami, one in Cleveland. So hopefully they let Maverick Carter and, and, and Randy and them and, and uh, Rich take over. You know what I'm saying? Take over the Lakers organization. And the bad thing about it is now LeBron is pretty much in control. If they get Tyron Lue over there, he in control. So when LeBron leave your franchise, he gonna leave it, you know, you know, crippled. But as far as Luke Walton, you know, I, you know, I didn't really see anything like exceptional, you know, uh, with his excellence and those. But one thing I respected about Luke Walton, you know, one thing I said I respect, respected about Luke was the fact that. Luke Walton didn't give a shit about what LeBron thought. He didn't let LeBron do what he wanted to do. He let Ingram take the last shot. He let Rondo bring the ball up, try to make LeBron play more off the ball. And he went out like a G. You know, did he have the potential to be a great coach? I didn't really see that. You know, anybody can pretty much coach that Golden State Warriors team back then. I didn't think he was going to be the next up to be a great coach. I will say that. I didn't really see it, but I don't see it from a ton of coaches. So for Luke... Did he get a raw deal? Yeah, but he's still, for the next, what, three years, going to get 5 or $7 million. But Luke went out his way. He didn't let LeBron, like, run him out of town and do what LeBron say. LeBron, you know, gr dribble the ball every time and just do what he wanted to do and pad his stats. So Luke Walton went out on his own accord. So you got you to gotta respect Luke from that. You know, Luke took care of his young guys. He tried to. He tried to help them develop and implement LeBron, which is a po impossible. So be prepared for Lonzo to leave. You know, Brandon Ingram to leave. And uh, who else you got out there that's probably going to be getting the hell up out of there? Uh, Lonzo and may possibly Kuzma. And 
And Lonzo almost got, you know, his contract voided with the Lakers because the guy he's suing, Alan Foster, advised him to get ankle surgery outside of the Lakers' wishes. And if he had done so, his contract would have been voided. But now it's saying that Tyron Lue is the front runner. Now, Vegas a couple weeks ago had Tyron Lue with the second best odds behind Juwan Howard to land the job in L.A. And for somewhere around this, in my heart, I felt that Tyron Lue, when he got let go by the Cavaliers, was always going to end up in L.A. Is it because Tyron Lue is a good coach? Fuck no. It's because Tyron Lue is going to let LeBron do what he want to do. They about to make LeBron comfortable. It's about to be the Los Angeles Bron Browns. They about to get a coach in Tyron Lue. They about to trade their young assets. They're going to trade draft picks. I don't know if they're to come, just all this coming this summer or by the trade deadline next year. But the next couple of years, they're going to trade all their assets. They're going to make sure LeBron get Anthony Davis in the next year or this offseason. They're probably going to swing Kyrie over there. Don't be surprised if Draymond Green don't try to end over there. They're going to try to build a super team in L.A. They're going to try it. You know, they really are. And with Kevin Durant going out east, it's the perfect time to let LeBron control the shit. So LeBron may be up for general manager or president of basketball operation award next year because he's about to tear it down. If you see Tyron Lue come through the door, Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram, you might as well pack your shit and get the hell out. Potential rookies coming in, pack your shit and get out. Because they're going to trade all these assets to make LeBron good. And if it doesn't bring a championship, it's a failure. When LeBron comes to your organization to leave, he leaves it damaged. He leaves it broken. It's like a wildfire in the forest. He just does, cripples everything. So hopefully the Lakers get a championship out of this. They want to get Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard don't want to be a part of it. But if you see Tyron Lue go there, it's, 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 it's LeBron. It's the beginning of the takeover. Because what the fuck has Tyron Lue done to earn a Laker position over Mark Jackson? You know, over some other the young cops that didn't have a, a chance. He didn't do shit great coaching wise. He just LeBron boy, LeBron James whipping boy, in the public in public in the public perception. And the thing about Luke Walton is is it's beautiful is because Lottie Devots wants to hire Luke Walton for the Sacramento Kings job. They said the other day if Luke Walton is let go from the Lakers, he is the front runner for the Kings job. So, at the end of the day. That's, you know, white privilege at its best. You lose a prominent job, and you got a job waiting on you. Prominent. That's just what it is. Because you don't see that shit happen for black coaches. You don't. You, 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 Alvin Gentry was lucky to get a second shot at an NBA head coaching job. A lot of people don't know he's coached the Pistons back in the day. Terrible. You know, a lot of these dudes, Maurice Cheeks, he ain't going to get another job. Patrick Ewan can even break into the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So Luke Walton possibly got a job with the Sacramento Kings. That's probably better than the job he got with the Lakers. No LeBron. You got De'Aaron Fox. You got Bagley. You know, Kali Stein's contract up. You got Bonjanovic. You got Buddy Hill, who looking like he could be an all-star next year. You got a good. You got something good to deal with. And you possibly got a lottery. You got a high lottery pick. They could win the lottery. You, know, you put Zion that way. Who really won? Luke or the Lakers? Luke Walton. You know what I'm saying? That that Sacramento Kings coach, he sucked at coaching. It seemed down the stretch he got he got it together with with his with his um rotations. But his rotations was garbage, man. You know, his rotations was garbage. One of the worst coaches I've seen coaching the NBA in quite some time. And how them players develop under his watch is really a rose growing from the concrete in my opinion. But you know, Luke Walton, I know he ain't stressing. He go in Sacramento. He get five to seven. He getting five to seven from L.A. next year. Shit, Luke Walton going to be making 10 to 14 million dollars next year if he get another head coaching job. Balling on y'all asses. No LeBron. And I think Sacramento is a more attractive job because you don't have to deal with the stress of LeBron. You got some young guys you could really build up. And they're on the cusp of making the, NBA, and make, making the NBA finals. And you still get to stay in California. It's a win-win for Luke if he get over the uh, Kings. Tyron Lue, he come back and coach LeBron is for the check. You know, remember he said it's so stressful. You know, imagine what you about to be in L.A. So we'll see what happens. But the takeoff for LeBron has begun. It's good fellow sports TV. I'll link the article link from ESPN in the description. I appreciate everybody for showing love. Blessing to the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hillblaze, at thehillblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing. Get you 18% off their 100% all-natural products from soaps, lotions, foot soaps, lip balm, toothpaste, deodorant, hair pomade, and much, much more. Check them out. 100% all-natural products. They make them themselves right here in the United States. 
you want to support some homegrown right here, check them out. Website, promo code description. We give out free products. Hopefully, I re up on the free uh, codes so I can give them out. But when I do, make sure you're part of the subscribe gang gang and hit the bell icon so you get them notifications. Appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. Go.